Okay, so you may be wondering why I'm just sitting in the Village of Smiles shrine with the lowly blacksmith in this disgusting three shrine. Well, we want to enter the very final area of this game. And to do that, well, the final unessential area of this game. And to do that, we've got to do some weird stuff. So let's desecrate this sanctuary by using a stained page. That pisses off the people that are here. Um, apparently it doesn't piss off that guy. So that's the thing that they didn't uh, attend for. Um, so basically I should get my, my, my living shit beat out of me. Um, and die. So all the, the music turns off and everything. So it's actually pretty, pretty um, messed up if you think about it. So fortunately I just kind of have to like... I have to die. So let's just get a montage of getting bludgeoned to death. Oh god, this hurts so much. Ugh. And dead. Come on. Hit me. Hit me. Ugh. And look where we appear. Back in the shore. Isn't that weird? Why'd they drag us here? Interesting. Well, we got a bloody writ as well. And you get that if you desecrate a temple and then you die from someone in that temple. For me, to me, it's an extremely convoluted uh, way to, to do this. But that is how you do it. Now that we have the bloody writ, we can enter the proper way to this last place. <laughs> um, where are you, though? Where is it? Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Siam likes it. Over here on the right. We have... If you remember this place right here, I said we're not going to go to this section just yet. This place is uh, the epitome of darkness and evil, I guess. Oh, a stone god. Don't want if I do. Although, there's no more little shrines to do, so that's it. So remember, we did get here. We did come from here. And down here, follow where the water is dripping to survive. Yeah, this is a pretty cool place. Very secret. And, uh, yeah, pretty dangerous, too. Very, very, very far down as well. Crazy. If that wasn't enough, you gotta hurry up! There you go. <laughs> Good, it didn't fall off. Cool. And look at this. Who are you? Do you have a mark? And that's a bloody writ. Oh, well, sure we do. Yeah, you tried and failed to commit the ultimate betrayal, defiling a holy place that once cared for you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> So beyond me lies a sanctuary to the betrayer. I asked you this once, and it's true. Do you swear? Do you wish to swear your blood to him? I don't, but we want to get in there. It's the only way in there, so yes. I am pleased. Here's the icon of our dark creed. We get a skull trophy, and we need to revitalize your sanctuary, which is not going to happen. Um, but it's an interesting creed, because what you do is you use their trophy to ex try to expunge people already coveted shrines. And you gotta do some crazy fights. We're talking like the guy, the knight on the horse, randomly like cuts through the shrine. And you gotta kill all these like sanctuary guardians to properly expunge. And it counts as like a, a boss type of thing. Like it even does like an expunged like message when you're done. But anyway, we're not doing that stuff. But so unfortunately now we're in level one of Order of the Betrayer, and we definitely are betraying. But look how cool this place looks. And it's just a little quick trip. It's it's only like two rooms. The Blackest Vault is the last area of the game. It's the most hidden, in my opinion. So yeah, I can't do too much here. Yeah, hello. And you can buy some, uh, uh, I guess. You can learn, yeah, dark spells. Only place to get them in the game. They don't cause elemental imbalance. Pretty interesting. You guys are a little too evil for me, but 
we can still kind of explore what's up here. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> and you still gotta do this crazy falling bullshit. Oh, come my knees. My knees! Now, what is good about, um... Look how cool this place is. So weird. Oh, what's cool about the Order of Betrayer, though, is that you can get an item, like the Wraith Fang, a devotion item, that lets you... It, it, it decreases the defense of enemies, including bosses. It's almost overpowered, but you have to be really secret. Now, look at that. We just pop in here from out of nowhere. So, I'm going to warp back to the very base of that place because we need to um, get something. First of all, we're going to join. We're going to retake the oath of this place and uh, become... Yeah. See, you still get all your devoted items. Even though we're still level one, you can't re... You can't do any more work for them, so you never... That, that's just a number. You still get all the devotion stuff. So, like I said, worth it. But uh, we want to travel back down there. So let's go all the way down to the Blackest Vault. The very bottom... See, the very bottom of the list of the game. Pretty cool. Very secret. And to do work for the leader of this creed, you just got to get expunged hearts, which you get when you expunge a shrine. So... I kind of want to, I'm going to do it on uh, another playthrough, if I want to play another playthrough. I kind of want to try a mage character. I started to, and I kind of liked it. Look at all these freaking... Jeez. Use arcane item in sanctuary. I guess that's a way to tell you how to do it. Alright, this is one, um... This is one dangerous section here. But it's worth the only drowned tome and the way to upgrade our mosaic culvert to the highest level. Let's do it. Got it. A drowned tome. Only one in the game, not including the unspeakable deep. Okay. We are very close to the end of this game. So, really quick, I just wanted to explore this. I've never done this before, and I'm probably gonna, I might die from this, but the mini shrine right before the Kraken Worm on the Castle of Storms, the boss, the very far right side edge of this, I think with... Yeah, I see it. I see it right there. If you have hard light, there's a secret entrance to Mal's floating castle. Look at this. And this is gonna hurt. Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Let's try that again. Oh god. Okay, oh we made it, cool. That's neat. And that just leads right here. Wow, that is cool how that links. The castle storm is just right up there. Very cool. Okay, I think that's enough dilly dallying. I just need to increase my, I just need to get some more salt for um, upgrading my pistol. So, and we can only really use it for one more boss. That's it. So I will, I will do that. Okay, and I have enough salt. Let's upgrade. The final upgrade we're probably gonna do here, I think. Yep, 74.3 damage with the Drowned Tome. Mosaic Culvern, level six, or level tier seven. And it's a level five uh, pistol. It's, it's best pistol you can get damage-wise. Crazy amounts of damage there. And I believe this boss only is affected by shot, or blunt. Uh, strike is too, too protected, so. We could actually probably wear our gloves because of that and not have our dagger out, but just for fun we'll have the dagger out because it's been with us the entire time. All right, I'll see you at the boss where we fought Storm, uh, what, Storm Kraken Schwartz? I don't know what the hell the name was. Okay, no more dilly-dallying. We have... Level 7 Eviscerator, level 7 Mosaic Culvern, Pistol Shot, Rings, we can fast roll, we have level 7 Armor. Right? Yeah, level 7, complete armor, best we can do. We are ready. Level 77, I guess that's the level we're going to be. Almost, we have pretty close to highest cap of, close to the soft cap of dexterity. Let's enter the final area, here we go.
The Still Palace. And with its own music track, you know we are at the final section. This upside down castle with a very, very bottom and this weird void like place. And this guy, this 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 old man who we talked to, his name was Jarrett, and he is a bounded servant of this nameless god. This god who wants to collect all things and try to become something that he isn't. He wants he's a god, and the god envies only one thing, and that is the light. But we're all saltborn, and we are eternally dead, including this nameless god. And he cannot acquire the light. Just like the candlelit lady seems to be the only entity in this game that does. So this, like I said, this is... I'm pretty satisfied with how final this place is. And no, they're not going to make mimics here. And you get a king's orders. You, like, they're, they're letting you, you know, here, take the highest upgrade if you didn't find it. This is, um... This is it. And I, this is suitable for a final area. It's very, very desaturated. As the most desaturated you can get because it's the still palace. It's the most, it's the most salt uh, section of the game, I guess you could say. Cool little section here. Cool, cool jumps, just for a nice. Extra little one final gift. Oh no, wait, where the hell does this go? Does this seriously link back? I think this does, which is really neat if it does. I forgot about this. You tell me boring old Hagger's Cavern? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Way to spoil the, the final feeling of this place. <laughs> that might be a mimic. Yeah, fuck you. Go piss yourself, ass. So what, is it just for a great pearl and a shortcut? I think so. It is. Unbelievable. I'm still not really sure where we are, though. I guess he's got to get a taste of the Mosaic Cauldron, too. Where the fuck is this? Is this the salt? Oh, okay. This is going further to the right if after that uh, crazy roly guy, the roly poly guy, and we never went up here. I could have explored this area and I didn't. I didn't know that led to the Still Palace. That kind of makes the Still Palace not so otherworldly. It's just some thing at the very bottom of this cave of this island in the, in the internal parts of it, I guess. And this probably goes. To, uh, okay, back here. I see. Interesting. Well. That's all he, that's, that's all he she wrote then. The, the rest is definitely just a salt palace. Okay, finally made it back down. This is the final shrine. I like it. The final shrine is just a mini shrine. That's all you get. So. Let us finish this once and for all. You know, I think I'm just going to let the music play while we explore this, these uh, final moments here. Chest of a chest of salt. That is actually the yeah. I think it's worth ten thousand. That's the only one in the game. I'm pretty sure. So that's funny. I'll just use it. Yeah, ten thousand. It's funny. <laughs> pretty puny, really. But that's the only one in the game. I'm almost certain. Look how dark it gets. This is it. It sucks that you had to, to lose some hit points there. That does blow ass early, but whatever. Fear not, God is sanctuary. Interesting. I don't know about that, but... And I like this. This final drop, this final moment. You can see the candles there that if you drop, it's time to fight it. Praise... Okay. Beware, indeed. 
And this time you cannot see the boss. And as the Scarecrow said, we will kneel to him. And sure enough, we will. Against our will, we will definitely kneel to this boss. You'll see what I mean. Here we go, guys. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know how I feel about this, but this is the final battle, and this is the final part of the Let's Play Assault and Sanctuary. Here we go. So this is the true nature of this Scarecrow, of this entity, the Nameless God. It's not the Scarecrow face, it's just this, his, some nameless creature at some point came here and wanted to take the helm and become Lord of this island. Well, we saw what, what fate the Nameless God has to endure. Why would we want to adore it ourselves? Just to, do, to reign domain over this terrible place? No, I think we'll deny that. I think we're just going to escape with our lives become saturated again lose the salt and become mortal again I think that sounds good I bid thee farewell And there we have it, Salt and Sanctuary. 
We're done. We escaped the Eternal Salt Island. <laughs> and as you can see, we came back to this really colorful sea because we were back in the real world. And if you look, this is how small the team is. This is the credits. This is just testers. Up there was it. There was only two people, really. So it's really cool. We're not going to really be able to, to, to sign out and turn the volume up because this is going to to leave quicker than I, than I uh, can ever hope for here. But I just need to say that this game is absolutely impressive. It is amazing what a team of two can do. It surpasses countless amounts of trashy AAA games that... Uh, this game has so much life force to it, so much just energy, so much passion, and it's very well polished. Um, it's very impressive. I was absolutely touched by this game. It is extremely fun. The interconnectivity, the Metroidvania aspect, um, Dark Souls imitated in a absolute original fashion, done extremely well. In some places, I like it better than, than Dark Souls in some areas. Um, the exploration, the unessential areas, it's just really great. A new adventure awaits. They're referring to New Game Plus, which we're not going to be doing. I do have to say that um, it's just, I'm glad I was able to let's play this game and it, it's uh, if you never heard of this game or you're afraid to play it well I hope that I was able to uh, give you experience of the game itself and hopefully in a, in a good way because personally I'm just overly impressed nothing more else to say another let's play down feels good to, to complete one uh, for people that have been following me for a long time thank you for the support uh, I understand it's been a while since I let's played like I said as long as YouTube's there, I can come in and back and forth as I please. So here we go. That's my offering to you. I hope you enjoyed Salt and Sanctuary. I know I did. This is Bloody Meow, signing out. Bloody Meow Production